Florida, where it's supposed to be warm. It's early January, and when I woke up this morning, it was 24 degrees. What's wrong with this picture? All right, we're going to spend a couple minutes here in the beginning and talk about a couple of permutations out of our calculations with time value of money. Uh, there's an earlier video that shows the basics of computing lump sum and annuity calculations, two videos. What I want to add in here is what happens when you have a, a problem where your interest is compounding more often than once a year. So that you have, say, semi-annual or quarterly or monthly compounding. So let's do a real quick example. This is really pretty short. Suppose, for example, you borrow $6,000 and you're going to pay it back in four years and you're going to pay 5% annual interest on your loan. We want to know what is your monthly payment going to be. Monthly payment. Oops. Monthly payment. So we've got to convert this over onto a monthly basis rather than an annual basis the way the calculator usually works. So in four years, how many monthly payments will you make? One per month, four times 12. So your in in this problem is going to be 48. So we multiply the number of years times the number of years for payments per year. Likewise, interest. You may pay 5% over the year, but we want to know how much is your interest charge per month. So now we're going to take 5% and divide it by 12 to get the monthly uh, amount applicable, and that's going to be your interest per year. All right? We can still leave the loan value, the present value, the amount of the loan is $6,000. And so if we calculate this real quick, get the little calculator right here. Um, We've got a $6,000, change it to a negative, remember that, present value. We've got 48 for N, and we've got 5 divided by 12 equals whatever for the interest rate. We put our, our basic data in, and then we want to compute the payment. And the payment here would be $138, and oh, we'll say $0.18. Cents. All right? So we've taken this and moved it over onto a monthly basis. This is if, suppose we had done it instead, uh, we're going to pay quarterly on this loan. We're going to pay once every quarter, once every three months. What would we do different? If we were doing it quarterly, we would pay four times a year times four years, right? So we would make 16 payments. And quarterly, we would take 5% divided by one-fourth, or, or divided by... Four to get one quarter of the interest rate uh, applicable to the year. Let's do that just for grins and see what we get. If we were paying this quarterly, uh, we'll just clear everything out and start fresh just to be safe, right? 6000 is our negative present value. We've got 16 for N, and we've got 5 divided by 4 for our interest rate to compute the payment. And now our payment every three months, every quarter, is $416.08. All right? Now, is that three times this amount? Not quite. There's some difference because of the different compounding periods. But we can do it quarterly. We can do it semi-annually. We can do it monthly. All right? I want you to be comfortable altering your calculations to suit the problem. But if it, if it comes down and asks you for monthly payments, you want to be able to convert the number of payments and the interest rate over to a monthly basis. All right? You'll be needing that. Good. Thanks.